All right, back at Band Johnson, Brian Ost and head coach John Vanderwall. And, John, uh, explain to me how they, this team takes you to overtime up there three, a couple of weeks ago, and, and today it's Pioneer basketball. Well, we really executed the game plan today. I uh, thought our kids played really hard and really fast while executing the game plan. Um, we didn't do as good of a job of that on Thursday when we lost up at Capitol, and we didn't do as good of a job of that when we when we played up in Ada against these guys the first time. And, you know, every night's a different night, you know, and when we went up to Ada, those guys were making a bunch of threes to start the game. It gave them confidence. And um, so coming out of the gates was really important for us today. We wanted to come out hard and fast, and I thought our guys did a great job of that. You brought up uh, the word capital, so I'll uh, I'll just go right into it. Right before the game, we found out that John Carroll beat them today. How much of a motivating factor was that for your guys? Uh, I, I thought our guys were in really good spirits going into this game. I mean, it was winter weekend here. Place is packed. It's jumping. Uh, I don't think they really needed any more motivation, but it was kind of nice to know that that happened. Uh, uh, and I, I think it inspired the guys a little bit. And um, the guys did a great job just going out and making plays today. Talk about your bench. Jason Ellis, 17 points, hit that three at the buzzer at the end of the first half. And then Mason Leidick today, uh, career game for him. He played really well. Yeah, our wings off the bench with Jason and Mason. Uh, that rhymes. Yeah, I, mean, uh, I didn't mean to do that. But uh, <laughs> uh, Jason and Mason played really well today. Uh, you know, the three Jason hit going into um, to halftime was was a big lift. You know, it was, it was a huge, huge shot. Kind of felt like a dagger almost, you know. And uh and then Mason just played really well. He shot it in. He started playing with more confidence. You know, he's just a freshman, so he's starting to find his groove a little bit, which is exciting. Be about another week before you're back here, so enjoy your uh, enjoy this one. But uh, we'll see you here in a couple of weeks. Great, thanks, Brian. All right, thanks. All right, Brian Noss back at Van Johnson, 91-64, the final score. Mason Leidig, freshman from Cuyahoga Falls. Career day today for you, man. You had a great ball game. Talk about how you just came out and kind of took over today. Um, I mean, all season, coach has been uh, telling me to just keep my head up. And, you know, shots haven't been falling for me so far this season. I saw my first shot go in, and it just took off from there. They seem to uh, give you the opportunity to shoot, too. You know, it's not like they were on you, um, you know, real tight throughout the ball game. Yeah, I mean, that's probably from the earlier this season and stuff. I haven't been shooting the ball very well, but I saw that first shot go in. Like I said, it just went on from there, and I just played hard. Explain to me how you win this game 91-64, to but just a couple of weeks ago they took you to overtime up there. Um, I think we were more uh, focused and prepared, especially from uh, the, uh, our last game up at, in Columbus against Capitol. So we just we were real focused this time, and we played, we played hard. We just played harder than them. You uh, heard the announcement right before the game started that Capital got beat today by John Carroll. How much was that a motivating factor to you uh, guys? It, it was a good motivating factor, but it also we had to come out here and play hard and beat these guys tonight. All right, it'll be a while before you're back home. You're on the road for the next couple of games, so good luck to you and enjoy this one. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, that's Mason Leidick.